Yes. I just felt the same ch uh, chills I felt going up and down my spine when that announcement was made just a few days ago. And I knew when she was crowned Miss America that at some point she would be in this studio with us today. Mm -hmm. And we would be blessed by her presence as we learned about her story, who this young woman is, and the trials and tribulations she's faced in her life to get to where she is today with her parents, with her family, with her personal, her personal journey. Um, and she's here with us to celebrate becoming Miss America, the one and only Nia Franklin. Yes, Nia! Nia Franklin. Thank How you are you, Nia? What the, <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> what do you mean? You, you're Miss America. Yeah, it's it's a blessing. I'm I'm really humbled to be Miss America. Um, it took it took me three years to get here. Uh huh. But I am so happy for God's timing, for it happening at the right time. I believe everything happens for a reason. So. Yes. Everything happens for a reason. Yes. Um, doing pageants was this always a dream of yours or? No, it was not. Okay. I I um did I did one pageant in college, just a local, um, the Miss Black and Gold pageant. Mm. But um, when I was able to go to my to grad school for my master's degree, that's when I was kind of bored. I was in master's school, in mas when you get your master's, you kind of don't have friends sometimes because either people are married or they're just so focused on what they're doing that it's not anything like what undergrad is like. Uh -huh. And so between that and wanting to help put myself through my master's degree, I decided to try and get some scholarships from the Miss America Scholarship Organization. It's actually the largest provider of scholarships to women. Uh -huh. um, Yes, and so I decided to go for it. Um, I was hesitant at first because um, I didn't think that I just, I, I didn't think I had what it took. I didn't know much about pageants. I did one in college, and yeah, I won, but it wasn't a national level pageant or anything. So um, I just decided to go for it, and um, I tried um, for two years uh -huh. in, in North Carolina, and that, that they have a wonderful program. That, is that where you're from? I'm from North Carolina. You're from North Carolina, no, right? Okay. Winston-Salem, North Carolina, okay. originally. But um, I moved to New York right after I graduated with my master's in music composition for the Lincoln Center Education Fellowship. Mm -hmm. If you hear all this stunting going on, OQ, <laughs> make sure you recognize the stunting right there. I am not uh, stunting. Okay, I'm just, okay. I'm just yeah. okay, all right. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I moved to Pitt for that, and I actually aged out of the system. You age out the old requirements were 17 to 24. Mm. Okay. So I moved up here. I was going to get on with my life and start my career as a music composer and songwriter. Mm. But um, then they raised the age to 25. Uh -huh. And New York has a pretty good history of doing well at the Miss America competition. We had three in a row, actually. Uh -huh. um, 2013, 2014, and 2015 Miss Americas were all from, they were all Miss New Yorks. Okay. And so I decided, you know what, why not? Let's just give it a try. And went on to win Miss New York in June, uh -huh. and here I am. Wow, Nia Franklin, you hear that? <laughs> what an amazing story right there, right? I'm completely here, especially amazing because a lot of times I'd be thinking to myself, women would want to go into pageants because they just think they're cute and they've gotten a shit ton of compliments in their entire life and they're like, how can I bank on this? <laughs> so I didn't realize there was such a big scholarship um, that you could receive. But I'm wondering, when you said how New York, um, women from New York were doing so well for Miss America, what do you think it is? What's the je ne sais quoi of New York? <laughs> women well i think it's living in new york I, it prepares you for the job of miss america in a lot of ways you're hustling and bustling with the trains you have to be you know you have to leave sometimes an hour early to be somewhere on time which is so different than the south and so it's a lot of that new york grit that i, I actually talked about that in the competition i told um, i forgot what the question was but i i told her like i have new york grit that's what's going to help me be a good miss america and it's true i I really feel like I'm prepared for this. I've only been living here about a year and a half, but people say your first year in New York is the hardest, mm -hmm. and I got through it before I was even... Um, well, actually, I celebrated my year anniversary in New York during the Miss New York competition nice. up in Buffalo on June 26th. That was my year anniversary. And you're in Brooklyn now, right? I'm in Brooklyn, Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. Hey. Right, Neil Frank and Heather, you looking at it like what? What is this? Because look? I think it's I think it's cool. I think that it's not something that you would. It's not a traditional route, you know, f to take. You know, yeah. a girl from. North Carolina, we read about your parents and your dad in particular. So you're carrying the mental part of it as well. Everybody, to Tracy's point, you see the physical, but you never know what's going on mentally with people as they're going through these um, competitions, for lack of a better word, and trying to scholarships. How how did you? Competition's carry a great word, actually. Yeah, you know, not, yeah. yeah. How did you get through mentally? 
with everything going on personally. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm a woman of faith, and so definitely just reading the Bible and praying and staying connected with my church family. I have Amen. a beautiful church family back home. Amen. Shout out to Mount Zion Baptist Church, Winston Woo-hoo. Salem. Amen. <laughs> Look at yes. God. <laughs> Look at God. I have a shirt that says that. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, there's a company. Look at God. But staying grounded in my faith and staying around people that have my best interest in mind. Mm. My sister is my best friend. She's my little sister. We're two years apart. Best, my best, my best friend. And um, just really having that foundation and and never giving up because I I tried, like I said, I tried in North Carolina twice and aged out and that was fine. I figured that's not for me. It's not mm-hmm. God's plan. But um, just making sure that you are always connected to who you are and what you want to do. And ultimately, my goal was never really to be Miss America. I'm so, I'm so happy that this is a part of my journey. But ultimately, I wanted to go to school so that I could be a, a wonderful musician and mm. and and be on the same level as. I mean, I don't I don't I could never attain this. But my musical hero is like Stevie Wonder. Mm. I want to make the world a better place through music, mm. and that's really my goal. Do you sing? I do. Mm-hmm. So I know you've been writing songs since you were like five, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, I read about that. What's your singing voice like? Is it more of an opera, soul? What do you? Well, I sing opera. I always sing opera for my competitions because uh-huh. I wanted to a get those points. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I wanted to show that it's not you. You can be African American and mm-hmm. sing opera. I was say, I, say I worked, it. Say it. I worked very hard during my undergraduate career studying voice. I mean, I was a composition major, but they required you to have an instrument, and so I chose to study classical voice. And a lot of people don't always take it that seriously they just kind of go through the motions but I was like if I'm going to be here four years and I have to go to a voice lesson every single week for an hour I'm going to make the most of it and so I really worked hard I started off with a a graduate level teacher because who was you know how they do the teaching assistants oh yeah so I had a just a teaching assistant who was great but then I was like I want to study with Dr. Jamie Rhodes I want to Mm. study with she's like top notch at East Carolina University and so I my junior year I finally was able to begin studying with her Mm. and so I wanted to show that off on the Miss America stage but aside from that or outside of the organization I still love classical music I'm hoping to go to the the Met Opera um, grand opening the the Uh season starts September 24th but I love singing (coughs) R&B I grew up singing in church Uh singing gospel and so my style on my songwriting level, it's definitely R&B, soul, kind of jazzy. Okay, so you write your own original music. Yeah, I'm a songwriter. Your Franklin is here, Miss America. <laughs> Love I it. mean, I mean, what would have happened? Like, could you imagine if Miss America came up to this show, right, and actually sang something? <laughs> I would love to. You would you? Yeah, sure. What, is that something in our future? Sure. Um, well, so well, wait, just... hold up, Wonder, drop a beat on it. Let's see if we could do. The future is now. This is the future. <laughs> now you're wait, I don't. Can I get like a? I have a song in mind I want to do. Oh, okay. okay. So. <laughs> y'all, wait, y'all want me to freestyle? No, no, no. Okay. Yo, the you setup was so the, good. Yeah, but the <laughs> that was, that was not for nothing one day. Can you give me something more R&B, like jazzy? Okay, okay like a, a jazzy R&B. Like, a, like maybe a SZA vibe. A SZA oh, vibe. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I love you right now. There's and actually, there's actually, um, if you type in, well, it's too late. There's a, a beat that I wrote to, this song to, um, it's called Ample Hills. Um, you know that one, one? If you type in like SZA beat on YouTube, you can probably find it. Okay, then we'll we'll come back. That okay. way you can warm your voice up. And, <laughs> oh, and, uh, okay. okay. Oh, you good? good. Oh, okay, Nia's good. <laughs> okay, Nia. Okay, go, well, well, like, <laughs> well, uh, Master's program. Four Please years, wait. fam. Okay. Go away, boy. <laughs> but, yeah. Did she just shoo me, Swiggity? I'm good, dog. I do this. I do this. Oh, I'm Miss boy. America, bro. Now, uh, if it was opera, that's a different story, but. The R&B, I'm, I'm, you, you, you I got you. I okay, got you. cool. Yeah. Be, while we finding while we're finding that, are we gonna come back and find it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna come back <laughs> and then we're gonna open up the phone lines. Uh, Nia Franklin, Miss America is here. Miss America is here. Woo. Yeah, straight the morning, shade four five. She's 2019 Miss America. Nia Franklin is here. Yeah. What do we know about Nia? Uh, she earned an under, uh, undergraduate degree in composition at East Carolina uh, University. She attended the University of North Carolina School of the Arts yes. uh, for a master's degree, right? She lives in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn, currently. Okay, she was, to the fullest. Okay, <laughs> she was awarded a Keenan Fellowship at New York's Lincoln Center Education and moved to, uh, moved to the city. Uh, she's worked with Success Academy Charter Schools and remains a member of the Sing for Hope nonprofit. Mm-hmm. And yes. she loves Stevie Wonder. 
Love. Love Stevie Wonder, and she took up opera because she knew that African American uh, girls should be able to take up opera, and then we could get rid of all of these uh, marginalized attitudes about what we can and cannot accomplish. Hello. Right. Hello. Right. And seeing you up there on that stage, I have to say I took a lot of pride in it. Thank you know, you. absolutely. And also last year I had a problem with watching the pageants. I had to really come to grips with it because I, and I don't know if you call me saying this. But I just did not like the the uh, I stopped liking the uh, the swimsuit, the swimsuit, swimsuit category. I, could, wow. I was like, man, this I feel like these women are being so objectified by for, for their bodies right now. I can't I couldn't get beyond that, and so I kind of stopped watching pageants. They didn't have it this year, right? No, and it's actually called a competition now. We're getting okay. away from the term okay. pageant. pageant. Okay, competition. Okay. Yes, because it's not just about your outward appearance anymore. Yeah. And it, n- it never was always just about your outward appearance. But now more than ever, it's about what you have to offer the world, what you have to offer the organization. And there wasn't a swimsuit this year mm-hmm. because the the board of directors decided that they didn't need it. You don't need to wear a swimsuit to earn a scholarship. Mm-hmm. Right? Good point. Yeah. So you mentioned aging out. Can you wait out? Is there a weight weight requirement? <laughs> no, there's not. Oh, really? No. Okay. No. And then what about the uh, since it is a competition? You know, when you're in a competitive environment, man, people do a lot of underhanded things to knock you off your square. <laughs> mm-hmm. Come on, some of them girls wasn't Feeding trying to throw you, you snacks. You know what I mean? Feed me snacks. <laughs> <You know? laughs> trying no. to throw you off your game. No, I and I mentioned in my speech right after I won how. I am so honored to represent the group of young women that were standing on the stage with me, the other 50 women. And I truly was because there's a lot of stereotypes about mm-hmm. pageants, competitions, and they're they're not true in my experience. Mm. Um, I, I, all of the girls this year were so nice to each other, uh-huh. so supportive. And it's really it really is about women supporting women. And our hashtag as a class this year was actually, we are Miss America. So we're oh, strong wow. and we're connected. That's okay. Nice. All right. You know, uh, Nia Franklin's here. She's going to do something for us momentarily. But first, we got a game we do for uh, uh, you know our first time um, guests, and uh, it's called the Mystery Sack. Go ahead and reach in. Dig deep. Dig deep. <laughs> Put your hands into Sway's sack. That sounds gross. <laughs> it's Sway's Mystery Sack on Shade Forty Five. Yeah, Miss America. You Miss America now. Every time they introduce you, they're going to say that in front of your name. Okay. Wow. Miss America is going to stick her hand in the mystery sack. The sack is beautiful and sparkly like your crown. Dig in. Pull a question out. Read it out loud. You have to answer honestly. You're going to do it three times. Good Get luck fun. with this. This could ruin the whole okay. journey. <laughs> if you could point to a magic wand. Oh, sorry. If you could point a magic wand at any artist and instantly make them Start, shart, shart. <laughs> shart, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> poop and fart at the same time. I heard that's what that means. Yeah, that's what that means. On stage, okay. <laughs> who would it be? Who would it be? Who would you choose and why? I did not write that question. Me neither. No, that's, me these either. questions come from the citizens. Like yeah. <laughs> those who listen to us mm. sending these questions. Who would you hit that one and make them just? Any artist? <laughs> yeah. Mm, this is hard. Yeah, you miss America now. <laughs> A name that comes to me is Nicki Minaj. Nicki. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Shitty oh, Minaj. Damn, you want to? That's, yo, yo. I can rewrite the question. Yeah. Oh, you can't? I didn't know that. No, no, I don't know who That's told you that. that. That's a, <laughs> I don't remember. Who, question number two. two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to yeah, go question number two. She said, why do you say Nikki? She has a big butt. Oh. So, okay. It would be a, its own sound effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It would be exciting. <laughs> okay. If you had to clone only one part of your body, which would you choose and why? Hmm. I would choose like my collarbones. The collarbones. I feel like this is one of my good features. The collarbones. Yeah. You know, I got shoulders too. You know, Nia. So I can, I can relate to that. You know, she said collarbone, yeah. but that's connected to the just the to the connected, 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 connected to the, to the shoulder, shoulder, shoulder bone, bone or something, the neck bone, something. I, I used to play Operation. What the? <laughs> We're not doing that one. What was that one? What did it say? I can't tell you. But you gotta read it though. What did it say, Heather? I have an image. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I like you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have an image, Swiggity. Chill. What that one When's said? a time you were painfully rejected? Well, I applied to two schools yeah. for um, my master's. Uh-huh. 
One was the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, which accepted me. Mm-hmm. And the other school I applied to was Yale. Uh, and I went to the yeah. School of the Arts, so Yale rejected me. Yeah, Yale is kicking themselves right now. They could have <laughs> yeah. had a Miss America, you know, alumni <laughs> right there. They blew it. Yale blew it. Yale no, but, blew it. But maybe my doctorate there. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see, right? Yeah, I bet you get in easily. <laughs> um, congratulations. Yeah. And I, I really want to hear you sing. Okay. Is that okay? All right, let's throw a beat on and see if this works for you. Um, Nia Franklin, Miss America, is here. This is my song, Ample Hills. Okay. And yeah, this is good. Um, it's about the ice cream shop that was founded in Brooklyn. Yeah. Best, ice, best ice cream ever. But um, it's more about how you want someone to treat you okay. in a relationship. Okay. Ready? Nia Franklin, Sway in the Morning. Miss America. Call me by my middle name. Let me know it's real. I need something I can see. I need something I can feel. If you want me to treat you good, that can be arranged. I'm not lying. These other girls don't treat me the same. Treat me like fire. I'm your desire. Treat me like ice cream on a hot day. You gotta have me. You gotta have Jay me. Glad the music. Yeah, that's Nia Franklin right there, in case you didn't know. I go by the name of Sway in the Morning, Shade 405. Brand new music by Miss America. <laughs> you got a second verse of that, Nia? I do. You do? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and let them hear what you sound like, girl. Sing it for the world. Sing it for the world. I took some time and made a vow. I'll never be the same. I'm a wild lady and I told myself I'll never be tamed. Act like you know I got the heart of a lion And my love is like whoa If you wanna try it out Come and be my guest I know you will like it Cause I know it's the best Treat me like fire Treat it like fire I'm your desire your Treat desire. me like ice cream on a hot day I'm melting your mouth you Ooh, some butter brickle. Yo, Nia Franklin, ladies and gentlemen. Miss America. Miss America. Wow. Thanks, guys. Wow. You have an amazing voice. Butter brickle. That's my favorite ice cream is butter brickle. Oh, do you know Ample Hills? Yes. Oh, my God. Come on. That's in Brooklyn. Yeah, my, my favorite is uh, the ooey gooey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, 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 um, that one's that's good. Oprah's favorite, too. Oh, really? Yeah. And Oprah, the crap they one. were in Oprah's um, magazine. and Yeah, she shouted them out and everything. So. She's going to shout you out. What's that going to be like once Oprah shouts oh you gosh. out? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. This is, everything still doesn't feel real. So if Oprah reaches out to me, I'm going to... I'm just gonna freak out. You I'm are you are an excellent representation <laughs> of this country. Yeah, Thank you. of this country. Yeah, across every ethnicity, every tax bracket, <laughs> every political whatever. You are an excellent representation of what this country is about, and I appreciate you. Did Thank an you. excellent job. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Neil Franklin, Miss America. Great. Great.